What's up? This is Demrick. Jamie Madge Rock. Man, this is your man's OB Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out, man. It's radio. You know what it is. Your host Maloney in the place to be with my homie OB One. You know what it is. We're live and direct from Guelph tonight. Salute to Robbie G for having us out at Remfest. Gonna go check the locks real soon. Just wrapped up an interview with the Woodlawn Warriors, and now we have the man himself, the one man machine, AV. Yes, sir. Up top. Better known, oh. yes, better known to a lot of you hip hop acts as Up Top Hip Hop. Yes, sir. Let the people know a little bit about yourself. I uh, started as a manager. I uh, manage Cetus here from Guelph. Yeah. Um, started making music a little bit. Started working around the studio with Robbie and then radio and blog now. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nutshell. Now, where are you trying to take the blog? What's the next level for uh, up top? Um, really uh, pushing out more content and finding uh, newer artists that a lot of people haven't or may have not heard yet. Yeah. Because, like, I find in Canada, like, we really only have maybe, like, five or ten artists that like people really know yeah so yeah i really made the blog to like really shift focus from like drake and like tory lanes and like no disrespect to any of those guys but it's like yeah how much saturation of those artists can you really get yeah. before you get annoyed by it you know what i mean so well and it's funny you say that too because i actually looked at a uh, statistic that um mike series posted about uh, 2008 when they dropped the mixtape last or whatever, or not last, but the first mixtape, and it was the statistics from Hip Hop Canada, and it was just the top 10 of uh, the mixtapes that were downloaded that year, yes. and two or three of them were Drake, Yeah. Uh, three of them were Genghis Khan, Yeah. Um, I believe one was J.D. Era, and, but yeah, it was basically exactly yeah, what you said, yeah, it was, like, they all came like from that umbrella artists. of, yeah. yeah, the same artist that you, you continuously yeah. hear about, yeah. And the have buzz. So now the salute to you, and uh, I really like the idea and the whole vibe of the whole blog. And that's actually kind of what we started Breaking Records Radio to be as well, to kind of have a showcase for all the other guys. Exactly. That people and actually, and, and to put them on an even playing field. So even since day one, we've always played everything from old school, maybe some, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's always underground hip hop, but you know, like you might hear Rack Him, and then you might hear like let's say Woodlawn Warriors. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's always been about like kind of putting them on an even platform. Yeah. So as far as your music goes, <clears throat> do you have a you have a full length project though? I have my first mixtape that I dropped about a year and a bit ago. Because you stay pretty steady on the singles for sure. Yeah. So lately yeah. you dropped uh well let's talk about those ones. You got the one with what Sazy and uh Yeah, I uh, I started this year off with uh Back to Basics with Zay's from Nino Nickel mm -hmm. and Stitch. Young Stitch. Yeah. Yeah. We played that one on the show a couple of yeah. times. And then um, followed that up with Get Your Bars Up with yeah. uh, Sazy, Words, and Young Stitch again. And then uh, Break Your Neck recently with uh, the Doom Squad trio from Edmonton mm -hmm. and DJ Ivy. Okay, dope. I didn't actually check that one yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yo, shoot that one through to us for sure. Yeah, yeah, we'll, definitely. We'll play it on this. Yeah, definitely. Dope. All right, now being a blogger and dealing with, like you said, not all the big shot names, so to speak. Uh, what are some of the let let some of the younger artists know the then what not to do and and the appropriate way to approach someone like yourself in your position. Um, uh, blogging for bloggers, like my biggest concern is a lot of artists who do submit to blogs don't fully understand that like bloggers like it's not just blogging that they do like a lot of us have like day jobs regular other things that we do yeah so like even if you do submit to us we may not get to it right away yeah and we may not be able to hear it right away like i get somewhere just that like will really really pester me really like, eh? yeah and it's like yo have you checked that out yo have you checked that and it's like okay i just got it like two hours ago. and it's like the more you pester the less it yeah yeah like, like, really yeah exactly are. it's like uh do i really want to check this one out no i'll push it off to wait yeah and it's like Sometimes I don't even check it out. Yeah. Like, if you pass to me enough, it's like, yeah, I don't even want to check that out now. But, yeah, like, and proper submissions. Like, a lot of, most blogs, 
will show you how to submit music and they'll tell you exactly like what you need like screenshot all that and other stuff and my biggest advice to artists is to follow submission guidelines from sites like just go to the site see if they have it listed if they don't most of the time they'll have contact email yeah so you can get in contact with them find out how to submit and all that and just follow that to a t like the more you follow their guidelines the more professional your email is going to look to yeah. them and the easier you're making their yeah, job exactly. equals the better exactly. chance like, of it, like if a blogger is asking for like the song name like all the credit like all the basic stuff yeah. and you're not including that it's like so now I have to dig into that song, find out about it, yeah. find out if I'm now even interested enough to do that like work. Where yeah. If the artist were to do that already, I would have that right there. Yeah. So. And then it would be just as simple as. Exactly. It's like okay, well, I like this. Let's post it. Yeah. Sometimes like I'll get stuff that I do like, but I can't post it because they didn't send me enough stuff. Yeah. They don't send me where I find them any artwork what the songs about like i don't know just live and learn i guess yeah and like i do try to like follow up with all of the uh submissions even if i do pass on posting it i'll yeah. still follow up with you like okay you could probably change your email or sometimes it just comes down to yeah i just didn't like the song yeah but at least it's honest too yeah and you give yeah. them the feedback exactly like and being a blog that like i because i don't get paid for posts yeah so i would prefer to stick to music that i do like that yeah. way you know like hey that guy a checked it out and liked it enough to share it yeah with people so, it's quality control right exactly yeah yeah like a lot of sites i find like get wrapped up in the whole hey i can make x amount for and that's the posts. issue and it's like is, are you really being honest when you say you like this song enough to post it then? Yeah. Because you're getting paid for it. Mm -hmm. So. It's just like how much, it's, it's, yeah, it's the exact same as how much you like that bottle of Ciroc that's in your music video that you're posing for 25 seconds. Exactly. <laughs> and you're getting paid for it. Exactly. At, at the end of the day. So like, do it's you like really like doesn't even it? actually drink off camera, but. <laughs> <laughs> getting paid by liquor companies, yeah. you know. Whatever. But no, I feel you on that too, because that's honestly one of the biggest issues we deal with at the radio show as well. People will send in music and it'll be an MP3. Or do yeah. you know what the worst is? People will send you a SoundCloud link. And no information, just yeah. a SoundCloud link. Yeah. And you're like, hmm. First off, like you haven't even like said hello. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even want to click your fucking link. But yeah. even if I do, the chances of me pressing play on that shit are very brief yeah. unless now you have like fucking Reef the Lost Cause on your side. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, you gotta really to... blow me away now that I've clicked on your link if you're not even gonna say a fucking word to me. Yeah. Like, yeah. And like some music, like I'll admit some music, some artists do have that, I guess, like reputation or whatever yeah. you may call it that like they can get away with that just sending you a link like some artists like i won't even expect them to submit their newest music i'll just post it yeah simply because i really like that artist and you've come across yeah it exactly yourself. and you like, we them, built, yeah, it, yeah. like we built a relationship to where i don't expect them to submit music yeah but they also don't expect me to just post everything either yeah it's just post it if you like it cool if you don't let's move on yeah and yeah, I have a lot of respect for artists like that, but like, just don't pester me to post it. If I post it, I post it. It's cool. Yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah. All right, so being an artist yourself, we talked a little bit about the singles you have released. Is there a, a triumphant grand finale that these uh, singles are leading up to? I'm looking at actually releasing a uh, quick little uh, four track EP probably either the end of this year or very early in the next year is that going to be featuring the singles that you already have out or yes new? yeah the three singles plus i'm having one new one that i haven't exactly told too many people about yet so okay and how do you uh find the the balance between blogging is blogging your priority at the moment and your music is uh like a sidebar but yeah yeah i've placed a lot of priority on blogging now simply because i feel like i've gained a lot of ground and found a lot more success in blogging than I have in music in shorter periods of time. Yeah. Like it's built me that. bridges from yeah. blogging 
blogging got me to other artists that I wouldn't have been able to reach out to for features. Like me and Sazy didn't have a working relationship before uh, I started actually blogging. Yeah. And then I got him on a song afterwards. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Young Stitch was kind of the same thing. Me and Words have gone back a little while, so we've always had that relationship. But, yeah, like a lot of, like, Jigs Krills from uh, Hamilton, Toronto area, he's, I've always listened to him, and uh, it actually kind of blew my mind when uh, I hit him up, on because he posted saying that he had a video coming out shortly, and I liked his status on Facebook, and then I inboxed him, asking him if he wanted to premiere it through up top, and yeah. I was definitely up for it, I was like, shit, like this is an artist that... I've been listening to for like six years and yeah. I to finally crack open a song from him. That's dope. Fucking A. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice when good. it hits home like that, eh? Yeah. It's like an artist you really actually appreciate and it's like, yes, they're giving me the opportunity yeah, to... Yeah. yeah, I thought it was pretty cool of him to to give me that opportunity because like he could have taken it to any other site and they would have been more than willing to, so... You spoke a little bit about... um blogs that charge for postings and whatnot would you ever consider anything like that route i considered adding like services to the blog like like a premium uh, package or something. well like stuff that would uh like email blasts and radio blasts and that type of stuff like adding services to yeah. the blog but i really want to stay as far away as i can from actually charging for mm -hmm. a post yeah simply because i want the reader to know that that post A wasn't paid for, and B what I wrote in that little write up is like I took the time to actually listen to the song and tell you about it. Yeah. Like, cause a lot of, like some blogs, and they'll make it very obvious as to whether or not the post is paid for, cause most of them will just post the song, and post the credits. And yeah. That's it. Like it's just bang 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 get that out get that out get that out we got paid for it. Just move yeah. On. So it's like, I would rather just take the time and actually share the music that I like. Yeah. So. And that's how you build a trustworthy brand. Yeah, exactly. Well. Like, I want artists to feel comfortable coming to me with a song and knowing that I'm not going to return a message like, hey, I charge yeah. this much for a post. I'm like, no, I think that's lame. It's not promotion worth yeah, having. Yeah, exactly. Was it really worth having that promotion yeah. anyway if that's something you could have did by yourself for free? Yeah, and it's not genuine either. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, paying paying for uh, blog posts. Some radio stations will do it for radio plays. Like, yeah. Paying for radio plays. Like, I think that shit's lame. Yeah. Like, even, uh, uh, mixtape like, slots. Uh, yeah, that shit's and, ridiculous. Yeah. World Star Hip Hop and stuff. And... Yeah, like, World Star, like, I understand, like, it's a big enough site that, like, yeah, people will see your music, but is it really worth the fee that you're paying to put your video up? No. When YouTube does the same thing yeah. for free. Yeah. I've never understood yeah. why people clamor to Worldstar. Maybe I'm just ignorant to the whole idea, but I just never understood it. I think it's because they feel like that puts them on that even playing field. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, have. But we, it's an illusion. Yeah, like, have we ever really met anyone that. Blew up on Yeah, thing. blew up on Worldstar? No, they're the thing, always right? ever. They're always big on Worldstar once they've already made it big. Yeah. So it's a. Like, and you might get a lot of views from having your video on Worldstar. Yeah, exactly. But then the next but time then artists like, drop a video, Worldstar's not picking it up unless you're paying. Exactly. Them, and then you end up with the same view count generally. That yeah, you would exactly. End up and it's with. like you're paying because I don't even know what Worldstar charges to I post. Think it's about a thousand bucks for a yeah, music like, video. Or that's something. what I've heard. And like some directors charge that for music videos so yeah it's like you're sinking two grand into a music video that is gonna only promote one song yeah and hope to god that fans do Gravity. cling on to your project that that song came from yeah it's like two grand is it worth it and it's a single driven economy too right exactly. like it's just about song bang out song yeah, bang exactly. out in today's like, world so it's like do you got the bank to be doing that exactly i feel like projects are like I don't even feel like fans have the patience to sit for projects anymore. Anything no. more than four songs, and it's like, you're going to lose your fans here. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just 
music's really weird now. It is generation of ADHD motherfuckers. Yeah. No, and it's hard to stay. Up, it's hard to stay on top of the curve too. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like you always got to be like all over the internet to find out what's new, and it's like even when we do find new music, half of it is garbage. Yeah. So it's like, why do we keep chasing these new trends when half of them we don't even like? And that goes back too to what you're saying. It's like about the quality control and about making sure that blogs and any media outlets such as ourselves or yourself yeah. actually only... puts out what you feel is good because yeah. at the end of the day, that's what's ruining the whole music industry in itself. It's... The fact that anybody can pay to get put on. Yeah, exactly. And like, I feel like paying your way through your career or at the end of the day are you really proud to say that you paid your way through yeah oh, i paid to be on this mixtape i paid to be on this yeah. radio show i paid to be on this blog and it's like they'll try to the, pass it off like they didn't pay yeah exactly yeah. And it's if like, you're paying I, with music money it's one thing if you're paying with your next exactly five, it's yeah a little but, bit different yeah and it's like at the end of the day is all of that fame that you paid for worth it and is it real yeah, how, exactly. How much is, is the real? longevity? Yeah, I think you build a much better relationship and fan base going out, doing shows, meeting individuals, yeah. showing them your talent. And like that's been a proven point. I just don't understand where it started to shift. Where artists could just pay to. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I, I would agree to that. That's where I've seen the shift. <laughs> yeah, like that's music just seems it. to shift in a way where like artists just feel like okay, I could just pay to be on. Yeah. The biggest blog, the biggest sites, the biggest radio station, and it's like my music will just blow up from there. Yeah, you have people that are accidentally being slipped into SoundCloud algorithms and are blowing up overnight. Really? Yeah, through mistakes on SoundCloud. So compare your paid career to the guy who blew up on SoundCloud by accident. Mm. Yeah. How proud do you feel now? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, I don't know. Yeah. And like. Don't, like, don't get me wrong, I've paid for mixtape slots too, and it's like... <sighs> it's never worth Yeah, the... it didn't didn't get me any further. No. Like, the song didn't bump up in views anywhere, and it's like... And a lot of the mixtapes, you can tell which ones are paid for. Yeah. Because, like, they'll just throw any type of music on. Yeah. I had my one, uh... Mine was, like, a cypher-type track on this one mixtape, and, like, it was trap song, trap song my song trap 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 trap, trap. And like, did you even filter through any of this music no it's like i i don't even want to promote this like i think i posted the link once just because like i was on it yeah but it's like oh yeah i've done the same thing man i've been on a couple in the like in years yeah. back did the same thing it's like you don't even promote it because it's like i'm not even like proud of being on this no. project it look, it's, it's shit and at the end of the day it's like most of those tapes only end up on what dad piff band cam yeah. yeah and it's like i'm not seeing any money from it these so-called ten thousand listens i don't even know if they're real yeah so it's like i'm not seeing any bump in any of my social media none of my followers are going up none of my likes are going up none of, like my view count for that song is not going up so it's like are people really listening to your tape yeah so with that being said, we we're discussing a little bit about the Coast uh, Coast series. Um, yeah. So, I the article that I was reading did the math on it. They said you do about thirty shows a month with thirty two artists on each show. So I think the total with their submission fee of being about three hundred bucks <clears throat> was two hundred and ninety thousand. I month. think Coast to Coast as a whole company is just one big scam. Yeah. Um, like. You're paying for, again, mixtapes lost. You're paying for performance lost. You're paying for blog placements. It's like this PR that you're paying, you're paying for all of their connects. So why wouldn't you just go build those connects on your own? Yeah. And I don't think it's their connects are like noisy, incredible, uh, yeah, exactly. incredible stuff like that, right? It's like uh, some no name guy in fucking Timbuktu. That's, yeah, exactly. That's and it's blog. like, so okay, they can say yeah. it's done, but legitimately. Yeah is questionable yeah exactly and it's like even the big credible sites like other than dj booth i don't think i really even read any of the music posts from like complex or any of them seriously yeah because i've dug into them too and it's like 
I don't know how comfortable I am with that. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm not going to dive too, too far into it, but it's like some of the practices I've seen from some of the big, big blogs that people are really striving to get onto, it's like, I'd rather fuck with all the smaller guys. Yeah. Is like, it possible to church. make a living off of uh, what you do without doing any of that? Um... Is there a breaking point that you think that they just hit and it was like, well, the only thing we can do now is... Charge. Mm -hmm. uh, I think once you hit that like ceiling on how much people spend on advertising, because that's really what used to drive these sites was advertising. Yeah. And now that that's really starting to come down, I feel like a lot of these sites are starting to feel the pinch and artists are now having to pay for that. Yeah. It's like... A, that doesn't make your music genuinely good. You got, you have to pay for that. And that takes away from the credibility of the site, I feel. Yeah. It's like, now that I know you pay, what makes you different from anybody else, anybody else that pay, charges for posts? Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, uh, it's a lose-lose situation dealing with blogs, yeah. honestly. It really <laughs> Hey, is. we're in radio, we feel you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's craziness. We're going to wrap it up with the final question then. As a, as an artist, opposed to a blogger, or you could be a vicious blogger with your Mortal Kombat finishing, so it's your call. <laughs> but if your musical stock could be translated to a Mortal Kombat finishing move, what would it do to your opponent? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like it'd be like one of the effects that wouldn't kill you right away. It like you'd be like one of those slowly dying. It just like wear you down. Like microwave. For, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just like you like walk around kind of thinking like, okay, yeah, he, he didn't hit me that. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, that phantom punch. Yeah. <laughs> like people to go real slow. Yeah. Uh. AV Hip Hop on YouTube, SoundCloud, and Bandcamp, and I'm um, AV519 on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Dope, and the Up Top Hip Hop is? Is Up Top Hip Hop blog on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, uptophiphopblog.ca. And is there any uh, exclusive stuff that you're sitting on right now for the Up Top? Um, no, not anything that's like too, too crazy, just really looking for content to really post right now yeah yeah just getting in the swing of really regularly staying active on it i word this your boy obi-wan sitting here with maloney yes our yes. guest is a v of up top hip hop yes sir shutting this shit down breaking fucking records radio